Shaun, come and tell us a joke. So, I have a joke about retirement. Okay. But it did not work. Okay, go on. It did not work. I, I'm, I don't understand. What didn't work? I have a joke about retirement. Okay. But it did not work. What did work? Oh, oh my God. Like, I have a joke about retirement. It did not work. When you're retired, you don't work. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that flew right over my head. You are never coming back here to tell jokes. Guys, did you understand it? Retirement, it is not. Uh, you're never coming back here. <laughs> what? Hi guys, my name is Ify and welcome back to my kitchen. If this is your first time stopping by, welcome. And if you're an old timer on my channel, hey, welcome and thank you so much for always watching my videos. I really appreciate you, but then again, you already know. Today, I'm going to share with you a very popular African soup. It is eaten in Ghana, Togo, Nigeria. Even Egyptians know this soup. It is called Ademe soup, okay? And it's also known as Ewedu soup in Nigeria. And um, the vegetable is called Ewedu as well. It's called Ewedu soup. The vegetable is known as Ewedu. You also know the vegetable as jute leaves, molohia leaves, molohia, molohia. Egyptians, they call it molohia leaves, right? Yeah, so anywhere you see any of those names, we're talking about one and the same vegetable. It's so easy to make and really delicious. Without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is to blend my peppers. Over here, I have scotch bonnet peppers and onions. That That's not all I'm going to be crushing. I'm also going to be crushing some ginger. This is, this is my ginger and I have garlic, all right? Now to make it easier to crush, I'm going to add some salt. Yeah, this will make it easier, okay? Now crush away. This is how it is done traditionally. Don't mind me, oh. you can use your blender. <laughs> Don't mind me. Okay, but I just want to do it the traditional way. So I'm just going to go ahead to keep crushing this. And uh, when I'm done, I'm going to set it aside and move on to the next step. So over here, I've got some water boiling and that's because I'm going to prepare my ayoyo or ewedu or jute leaves, you know, or molokia leaves separately. But first I'm going to add some okra. This will help it slime a whole lot, okay? Some people like to add um, baking soda or potash, that's cow. You can do that, it'll help the slime, it'll help, you know, the ewedu and the okra activate the slime better, but this will work just as fine, okay? I'm adding in some okra and I'm going to whisk this. I meant onions, not okra. <laughs> so in here, I've got my okra and onions, all right? I'm just going to whisk this for a few minutes before I add in my ewedu leaves or ayoyo or ademe leaves. I better stop saying ewedu, I'm just used to the Nigerian way. So ademe or ayoyo. Can you see the beautiful slime it has created already? Now I'm going to put in my ademe leaves, okay? So let me just take this off. Everything, oh, it's been rinsed properly several times, okay? So make sure you do the same with your own. Rinse all vegetables really well. It's so slimy already. So like all vegetables, it's going to do its thing and it's going to shrink. And then I'll show you the next step. After a few minutes, your ewedu begins to look like this. As you can see, it has wilted beautifully, okay? So you're going to use your spoon or your whisk or your whatever to try to break the ewedu leaves down a bit, okay? We're not going to blend, you know, like in Nigeria at this point, would have taken it off the heat and then would have blended it or crushed it with a broom yes there's a traditional broom for it but here we're not going to do that just try and break it up as much as you can with your spoon 
um, but the leaves are usually larger than the Nigerian already. So yeah. All right, guys. So when I'm done with this, just it's ready, right? But so I'm just gonna crush it up a bit, and I'll set it aside and show you the next step. Next step, yeah, I know I've been saying next step, next step, but I promise you, this is the final, well, almost final. <laughs> so you're gonna put some palm oil in your pots, all right? You don't need so much, just a little. Some people even make this without oil, okay? So, just a little. Now we're going to add in some onions, okay? Lovely. Cook your onions as usual for a few seconds, maybe like 30 to 60 seconds. Next, you're going to add your pepper, the ginger, the garlic. You remember all the things that we crushed in our... Hey, I've forgotten the name of this stuff. Oh, oh my goodness. Ghanians, please remind me of the name. If I remember the name, I'll say it. But if not, you can let me know in the comment section. I've forgotten the name. I'll remember, but let me know anyway if you remember. So we're just going to let this fry a bit, okay? So I remember the name now, Asanka, yes, my beloved Asanka. Okay, so I just put in a little water to rinse off all the peppers and onions, okay? And I'm pouring it into our soup base. This looks good. And so at this point, you can add in your dawa dawa or iru or locust beans, but I've got deli dawa here. Deli dawa is basically powdered iru or powdered dawa dawa all right so instead of you crushing it yourself it's just been made easier for you okay so this is it make sure you go out to get it anywhere you see it makes your life so easy in the kitchen they're so gonna put some in there give us a good mix ah it takes your cooking from here to there in seconds i promise you so just mix 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 this is looking so good at this point i'm going to add in my protein I've got some snails here. It's been pre-cooked already. I've got some chicken. I've got dried fish. I've got some pomo, which Ghanaians call wele. Yeah, so I'm just going to add everything in. Give it a good mix there. Let the peppers, everything, get to know the chicken, the snails. This is looking good already, I promise you. So I'm going to add some warm water, okay? You can add your chicken stock or meat stock, whatever it is you're using, all your vegetable stock. Okay, so just a little warm water goes in. I'm also going to add some crayfish powder. This is going to give it tons of flavor as well. Some seasoning powder, but you want to be careful because the deli dawa already contains salt and you know, it's going to make your food taste good. So I'm going to be careful here. And mix this. This looks good. I'm going to cover this and allow the simmer so everything can, you know, you know, you know, you know, for a few minutes and I'll show you the last step. A few minutes later, ooh la la. Okay, so I think I'm going to add a little water because this is looking dry. So some more warm water. Okay, lovely. Don't forget to check the description box for a list of all the ingredients that I've used so you too can make your own Ademe soup. Now, aside from that, guys, are you, have you joined my channel membership? Please don't forget to do so. You'll see um, the link in the description box as well. Just click that link and you can join my membership at any level that you're comfortable with. I really want you to join and support this channel and also get some additional perks which the general public will not get. It's gonna be exclusive to only you. If you have any questions, send me an email and I'll be more than happy to answer your questions, okay? So let's get back to our soup. Look at this, guys. Ooh, mm, mm, mm. This looks good. A yo-yo soup, a deme, a wedu soup, 
This is different from the way Nigerians make it, but it's still really. This looks fantastic. Wow. Wow. So at this point, everything is cooked. Make sure you give it a taste to make sure your seasonings, everything is well adjusted and your soup is ready. This is looking fantastic. Now, as a final touch, now I feel like this is, you know, being extra, extra. Some people like to just add some palm oil on top, just like this. And you know, just to give it a little more gloss, shine, you know, and then stir it, you know, and the soup is all done. Yeah. So guys, that's it. Very easy. A ademe soup, a yo-yo, a wedu soup is all done. Oh my god, my Ademe soup is ready and I cannot wait to eat this. So I made some rice swallow, some ground rice. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Looky, looky. This has been calling my name guys, this looks amazing. Like I said, I'm pairing this with um, ground rice. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at how slimy. <laughs> and it's gonna be it's gonna taste so good. Mm. Wow. Wow. Mm. This tastes so good. All the flavors. The way do I think I like it not, you know, finely blended, just like the way Nigerians do it. I really like it. This is a different um, sort of way to eat it, and I'm enjoying it so much. And then the garlic, the ginger, the onions, it is fantastic. Wow. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And um, I cannot wait for you to recreate this and let me know what you think. Aha, Togolis in the building, Ghanaians, how do you think I did? Let me know in the comment section, okay? Thank you so much for watching. Till I see you in another recipe video. Take care and keep eating good food. Bye. Of course, I cannot sign off without saying, don't forget to like this video and of course share it. And subscribe if you're yet to subscribe. Bye. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make a very popular African dish. Or should I say African soup? It is called... Sorry, somebody's calling me badly. Today, I'm going to share with you a very popular African soup. It is eaten in Togo, Ghana, Nigeria... Nigerian. Oh no, Nigeria. Jesus. Ah, what can we do this now? Alright, so once this bubbles up a bit... But I have Delhi Dawa. It's basically powdered iru or deli or mix 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 <coughs> so I have to say that again